Now let's discuss about the slope intercept form of the equation of line from the name itself it is very clear slope if we have the slope and if we have the intercept then uh, what is the form of the equation right uh, slope we know very well that's only one thing uh, only one type we get uh, every time uh, how much angle that particular line is making in the positive direction of y axis while measuring in anti-clockwise direction right but intercept you know we have two types of the intercept one is x intercept right and uh, another is y intercept so we'll get here two types of the equation in the form of one in the form of y intercept another in the form of x intercept generally uh, x intercept we don't uh, study more we study maximum time uh, y intercept form of equation and let me write here finally you'll get the equation like y equals to mx plus c all right generally uh, in this form you'll get the equation here in this equation if you see this uh, y and x is the general point of the equation and this m is actually our slope and this c is actually our y intercept all right uh, i hope you have very well concept of what is y intercept and x intercept as i told you y intercept means uh, if we have this our axis uh, x and y axis then our line uh, say this our line how much uh, section it is uh, can uh, cutting in the y axis right it may be cutting in this way or maybe cutting uh, in this way or maybe uh, it may be cutting like uh, in, deno in downstairs right this this is your now y intercept similarly it may be uh, cutting uh, like this all right so if this is x axis if this is y axis so this part is our y intercept all right so let's learn this let's try to find out this uh, form of equation all right so for that i need to make the figure all right as usual uh, let me suppose this is my y axis all right and uh, my x-axis this is my x-axis let me suppose let me give the name uh, x-axis and y-axis this is our origin whose coordinate is 0 0 okay and let's suppose a line uh, line something like this okay let's suppose this is our line uh, L all right is cutting uh, the y-axis at point uh, as a point uh, at this point a all right and cutting the y-axis at point b let me suppose a general point here all right uh, in this line p which is x comma y uh, the, the general point x comma y means whenever we're going to put the value of x and y in the equation of the this line l that will satisfy this equation all right let's say the coordinate of the point a is uh, since we're talking about the y intercept so this is our y intercept all right y intercept and uh, let me suppose our y intercept is equal with c okay c is our y intercept so since here is origin so x axis uh, in, in, in x axis we are not working anymore so the coordinate of the x axis will be zero while the coordinate of the y axis will be c so the coordinate of the point c uh, point point a is our yes 0 comma c this is the coordinate of the point a now uh, let me suppose uh, this line l is making theta degree all right theta degree with the positive x-axis measured in anti-clockwise direction it means the slope of the line will be tan of the theta right tan theta will be the slope so now see here uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna draw a perpendicular here like this from here I'm just uh, I'm trying to make a perpendicular like this all right and one perpendicular like this so these are our actually construction all right we draw a perpendicular here and we draw a perpendicular here let me give the perpendicular name p uh, p m all right and this perpendicular a n all right this is all about we need to do since this is now theta degree you know this will be also theta degree because this is and this line is parallel because this is perpendicular and this is also perpendicular i mean this a n line and x axis is parallel that's why if this is theta this will be also theta uh, from the law of corresponding angle now if you look in the in triangle if you look in this triangle p a n in triangle p a n uh, what is tan of the inclination tan of the theta that's always uh, perpendicular over the base perpendicular you know uh, p n over the base an all right over the an and 
what do you mean by this tan of the inclination tan of the inclination is actually the slope of the line slope of the line let's represent by m so now pn what is the value of this pn if you look from p uh, let me show you here if you see properly from p to till m you know pm value this complete length is how much y right and only this much length is how much that is c all right so complete y minus c will result this value this is actually y minus c all right so pn is y minus c and what is the value of an 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 is actually equals to om and om is actually the x coordinate all right so that is x so now we are going to get m times x equals to y minus c and if we represent it in a proper way we'll get y equals to mx plus c and this is the required equation and one thing let me tell you here this this may be plus or maybe minus all right because this c uh, the c will be negative when like axis our line will uh, our cut the y axis like this if any time uh, line is cutting like this then this is our uh, c you know and c will be negative that time when it is cutting above when it is cut, cutting the positive y axis then that time c will be positive and when it is uh, cutting negative y axis that time the c will be negative here c will be positive you know uh, i hope you have that concept okay and it can uh, cancel in uh, uh, anyways uh, in any way like i mean in this way also it is c is positive now and if it is cancelling like this that time c is negative all right so this is the general uh, slope intercept form uh, for the uh, when uh, the y intercept we have all right and let me let me uh, go for the special cases some a little special case case one all right if a line passes from origin line passes from origin origin means zero zero right so let's look at the figure if the line is passing through the origin how it will be means here is the origin and line is passing from here so what is the y-intercept that time the y-intercept is going to be zero all right i mean to say uh, when the line is uh, line will pass from the origin and if these are our axis x axis y axis then that time you know when the line will pass like this we have the slope m that's that's tan theta all right that's not the problem okay we have the general uh, point also x comma y but what about the y intercept there is no y intercept i mean it is not cancelling y axis anywhere neither in uh, negative axis neither in positive axis so that time our uh, our uh, c is going to be zero so when c will be zero our equation of this when this will turn to zero our equation will be y equals to mx so this is the uh, form of equation y equals to mx is the uh, is the uh, slope intercept form when uh, there is y intercept equals to zero okay now let's study case second when line is you know when the line is parallel to x-axis x-axis when line is parallel to x-axis it looks something like this uh, let me show you here mm, like say this is our y-axis and this is our x-axis and when our line is parallel to x-axis all right uh, let me do with another red color okay if our this is our line then see now we have general point p here x comma y we have c something some value some positive value right see i mean to say positive uh, y intercept we have a positive or negative i don't care uh, because parallel line may be like this all right uh, so that time one thing is lacking you know the slope the angle made by the line l is how much when line is parallel to x-axis, whenever the two lines are parallel, then the angle between them is how much? Angle between them is zero, right? So here we have x-axis, I mean, this is our x-axis and this is our line. So what is the angle between these two lines? Nothing, angle is zero here. So that time, uh, when, 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 uh, when uh, our slope is actually what? Tan of, the, tan of the theta, tan of the inclination. And if tan of the inclination is zero degree then that time tan zero that is zero so m uh, m is going to be zero so our equation y equals to mx plus c now m instead of m we can write zero so y will be equals to zero times x plus c it means y is equals to c this will be our equation of line when our uh, line is 
going to get parallel with the x-axis all right now a little uh, uh, interesting thing let's learn when line is parallel all right third case when line is parallel to when line is parallel to uh, y-axis wow it's gonna be very interesting let's see here we cannot we cannot write actually see here when line will be parallel to y-axis uh, the equation will be something I mean the figure will be something like this uh, if it is our x-axis and if it is our y-axis the line is parallel to y-axis means something like this this is our line all right or maybe like this our line may be uh, uh, like this you know uh, like this or maybe like this anyone it can be let's suppose this is our line so that time let's see here yeah? we have the general point that's not the problem x comma zero okay but what about the c c equals to zero because it is not cancelling in the uh, uh, cutting the uh, y axis neither it is cutting the x axis then it's okay fine let's let's write y equals to mx plus c okay so c is going to turn zero and now focus about this m m is actually what m is actually the tan of the inclination so what is the inclination of this line inclination of the line is this time 90 degree so now look at this what is tan uh, this will be now tan 90 degree and what is tan 90 degree tan 90 degree let me show you it is actually sine 90 degree uh, sine 90 degree over cos 90 degree uh, actually we don't we cannot find out the value of tan 90 degree because see here a tan, tan 90 is actually 1 but cos 90 is actually 0 and something over the 0 that's some undetermined value we cannot determine the value of this right so what we can say simply when line is when uh, line is parallel to y-axis you know this m you cannot calculate we can't calculate we cannot we cannot uh, calculate this now right simply it's undetermined value uh, when a line is parallel to y-axis uh, we cannot write simply we can't write we can't write uh, slope intercept form slope intercept slope intercept form of form of equation all right this is for when we have slope of the line and y intercept all right this is for that these all things whatever i discussed in above uh, this uh, um, in this all this is only when we are given slope and we have y intercept now we have another case also what about if we have x intercept all right when we have x intercept again it's very interesting i think the, this we need to do in the next video right it's going to be very lengthy all right